Yo, what's good everybody? It's Screen Onion here. And I got two giant bags of Hot Wheels that I just got for my recent haul. So let's go take a look at them. First out of the bag we got the Track Ripper. Looks pretty cool actually. You don't usually pick up fantasy castings, but it's kind of snazzy looking actually. This is part of the Speed Blur series. I guess one part of the Speed Blur series is that they have uh, gray wheels. They all have gray wheels. And they have some sort of funky design or something on them. So next up we got the 1972 Ford Ranchero from the Hot Trucks series. What case is this? These are all from Target. Um, B case. This bag is from Target. This bag is from Walmart. So next up we have the custom 72 Chevy Love pickup truck. And a nice looking green. I like that. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> We have a Matchbox, the Matchbox 56 Jaguar XK140 Roadster. This thing is pretty nice. I like the color and the interior color. That's one of two Matchbox I have. And, oh, actually, one of three Matchbox. Next up, we have the Jurassic World Mercedes AMG G63 6x6. I didn't even know this was a thing, but I just saw it hanging on the pegs here. In like a tan, sandish color. It's another 6x6 to add. I think that's the third release in like the main line other than like Toy Fair crap. Then we have the red version, the Nissan Skyline GTR R33 from the Nissan set. Pretty cool. And then the last car I got was, well, there's two more in here. We have, first we have the 1971 El Camino in matte emerald green. And then this is probably my favorite haul from Target, is the 2008 Holden VE Ute SSV. This thing, I would say it's pretty cool. I mean, some of you international people like Diecast NZ, you probably see these on the road every day, but that's new to someone like me in America. I've never ever seen one of these in my entire life. Never even seen a Holden vehicle. So this is pretty cool, and I really, really like the color on that. So, And as usual with Matchbox, it's got full front and rear tampos, which makes this car one of my favorites that I picked up today. So... That is the three Matchbox, and then Walmart was putting out their good old Christmas uh, displays, and I just was there at the right right place at the right time, so should we go find the super first? Eh, I don't know. I'll make you wait to the end of the video. So first here are the regular versions of the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. I picked up two of these. And there you go, that's that. I'll set these aside over here. Somewhere over there, there we go. And I'll look through some of these other cars. Next up we have the 1949 Volkswagen Beetle Pickup. New casting for 2019. In matte blue, Hot Wheels Tire Shop, sales, service, and fabrication. This thing's really cool actually, I really like that. It's a nice, unique little car. Uh, built on the Volkswagen Beetle chassis, and then we have the 1971 Mustang Mach 1 from a James Bond movie, which I really like the disc wheels on this. I think that looks really, really nice. I wish they had added front tampos, but they do have the rear ones on there. So yeah, I really, really like that. I like that enough that I picked up two of them, because, I don't know, wanted to keep on card or something. That's really cool. I like that. And then we have another Volkswagen Beetle pickup. I might make a custom or something. I'm not really sure. So moving on, we have the regular version of the 1990 Honda Civic EF. I like that they finally decided to do rear tampos on this thing without me having to paint it on. But then they, they left off the front tampos, so I guess that's eh, a horse apiece. So then we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R30 in white this time. Both really, really cool. And the next three cars we have here are the 19... 69 Ford Torino Talladega, the 1995 Mazda RX-7, that's a really cool deco right there, I really like that, that's really nice, a Mad Mike version, looks like a really, really cool drift car, and then from the uh, Detroit Muscle Series is the 1970 Dodge Hemi Challenger, also from the Muscle Series is the 1968 Chevy Nova, didn't find all of those, but those are just kind of hanging about in the pegs, so. All right, next, next batch of cars, we have the Speed Blur. What is this one? The 1964 Chevy Chevelle SS. 
And yeah, that's the thing with the speed blur. I guess they have these gray wheels for some reason and then some sort of cool design. I like the design on that. That's really cool. That stripe there. This is another car I actually really like. The Brembo brakes on the 2018 Camaro SS. That looks really nice actually. I like that little design there. It's speed graphics series. Took it a little step further and rather than just saying Brembo on the side like usually all those speed graphic cars do. It did take it a little bit farther. Here's a Hot Wheels Game Over series. 2005 Ford Mustang. Looks pretty cool. We have special features. See back for details. Wow! You can move the stupid splitter up. Wow! And we have the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Uh, what is this from? This is a B case, yeah. That one's pretty cool, actually. I, I honestly thought this was actually, because this is Hot Wheels Game Over. I thought I was going to have some sort of, like, DLC. Don't, just shut up. Don't, don't make fun of me. I thought I honestly thought I was going to have some sort of DLC code, not just say, oh, the spoiler goes, but whoopee, do, whoopee freaking do. And then we got the 1984 Audi Sport Quattro, which is just an extra. I don't know why they put the word smaller on that. That's kind of weird. It says 1984 Audi Sport Quattro. I don't know. Don't know why they did that, but... Wow, I thought I had more cars than I did, so we're going to have to bust out the old Super now. So, there is our Super Treasure Hunt for the BK's Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Number 45 out of 250. Yeah, this is an awesome looking Super. And yeah, there we go. Hot Wheels Nissan Skyline GTR. No, this is the Super. <clears throat> this is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This is the super treasure hunt. You guys thought I was pulling, uh, what, are, what is that one channel that just keeps like pumping out clickbaity videos about like finding a chase and it's just literally this guy walking around Walmart with the, in the freaking M2 machines section and he just pulls out some random car out of his butt and then he's like, oh, we found a chase guys, yippee. I don't know what channel that is. I'm blanking on that. I don't know the name of it, I forgot. Be like, uh, I remember that. <laughs> there's, I think there's one video where he even like had a thumbnail of like a super, and then he just like blabbed about the regular one being a super or something like that. I'm like, how dumb do you think people are, honestly? But that is an actual super treasure hunt. And one thing I like that Hot Wheels did with the supers this year is that they got they put the number back on the card. As you can see, like last year. They, this number would have been gone here. This uh, 45 out of 250, this would have been here for the regular car. But then on the Super, they would have just had this blank. And I think part of the reason why Hot Wheels did that is to deter, you know, random people that have just, you know, watched a Hot Wheels video. It's just like random people are just curious about Hot Wheels. They see a guy finding a Super Treasure Hunt, and then maybe the guy talks up the Super Treasure Hunt saying, oh, this car is like worth 60 something dollars, I don't know, on eBay. So then regular people that don't even collect Hot Wheels, they're just random people. They just say, oh, let's go to Walmart. And if I see one of these without the number, because that's what people say to look for. And yeah, then they might not know what this is if they just if, if they just pull it out and they see a number. If they just compare the two, yeah, obviously you're going to tell this one's a Super and that one's regular. Because this one's like baby puke green or something. I don't even know what they're going with that color there. But at least they changed on the Super because this this color is pretty cool. But I don't know what they're doing on this color. What is this like olive drab? What is? Come on, man, it's gross. And oh yeah, one funny thing about the Super is that on the regular one, actually, I just noticed this actually. It actually has that Hot Wheels black Hot Wheels logo right there next uh, to the left of the Nissan logo. I don't know if you can see that. But on the Super Charger, it actually does not have that. This is blank. Unless mine has a tampo error, but I really kind of doubt that. And then the way you can tell this is a super is because uh, it's got the TH on the hood there. It's got some sort of Japanese writing or something, and then the Hot Wheels logo on the roof. Whereas the regular one here, you know, this is just a blank hood with the stripes. And then obviously the rubber wheels and the paint are going to give it away. And if all else fails, if you're too stupid to realize it's a super by then, let look at the back of the card. And then you can see that Circle Flame logo. So yeah, there's my little haul from Walmart. This is the Super I wanted to find too, in the wild. Like I didn't want to pay through the nose through it for eBay. So I just got there at the right place at the right time. I was going to Walmart for some completely unrelated reason. And yeah, boom, where we go. We got ourselves a Nissan Skyline Hype R34. Yeah, cause that's the reason. I was surprised actually, I mean, 
he put out the bins, that Walmart employee put out the bins, like he said like an hour ago, so I'm like, ah, oh, crap, people already went through it. I'm looking through it, I'm like, I kept looking through it because the things were still in the case formation, you know, he just kind of put them in the Christmas bins in the case, and I just started pulling out the Skylines, and there we go, I found this one eventually. I think there were like three or four cases that were dumped there, so I got this one out of three or four cases. But still, nevertheless, happy to have this thing. That's that's really nice. It's my first 2019 Super I uh, found this year, and I hope to find more. The one I wanted, though, was this thing. I really, 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 really like this thing. It's awesome. Plus, it's a hype mobile, and I'll, you know, it's JDM hype, bro. It'll sell for really high on eBay. Not that I'm going to sell it. This thing is getting opened up and put it on my shelf. But, um, yeah, did I trigger some people? I, I said open up. Yeah, that's getting opened up. Let me say it again. It's getting opened. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of people get triggered. Say, oh, you're opening up your supers? What are you doing? It's decreasing the value. Well, I used to keep them carded, but I just can't stand looking at them through that bubble or whatever. I like to hold them in my hand and move them around or whatever, but I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It's, it's anybody's decision what they want to do with it. It's more value carded, obviously, but... To me, I'm not going to sell this thing, you know, maybe down the road uh, when I die or something, when I give it to my children or something, then they'll sell it, but, you know, I don't know. But anyway, just before I go, just a couple quick channel updates is that um, I'm going to be, like, switching, sort of, like, I'm going to be doing a lot more. I did a couple of Forza Horizon 4, the, like, a video game. It's a car-based video game. Don't worry, you won't be seeing me doing any Fortnite live streams or anything like that. But it was a Forza Horizon 4 little live stream or whatever. And I, I really, I don't know, I, I didn't get as many viewers. And I actually, I, funny enough, I actually lost like two subscribers from doing that live stream. But uh, I really enjoyed doing that more, I guess. I don't know. Because doing the Hot Wheels thing, I was going to do an in-store video with this Skyline. But there's just, ugh, that Walmart was absolutely packed with like random people just like walking around. And that Christmas display was smack in the middle of the store. So there's like grannies and grandpas trying to get presents for their kids. And I was just kneeling down next to the Hot Wheels. And then there were people trying to get past me while I was kneeling down next to the Hot Wheels. And some people were getting pissed off at me because I was in the middle of the aisle trying to dig through the Hot Wheels. And they're like, mm -hmm. and I'm like, whatever, buddy. Go away. <laughs> But anyway, that's all I have. Just a quick update. I'm probably going to do more of those Forza Horizon live streams. Then if I find something significant, like a Super or something like that, or a little Hot Wheels haul, I'll share that with you. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.